Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the stop error code that results in a blue screen when you get an error driver IRQL, not less or equal, on your Windows 10 device. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to have three methods in this tutorial. And the first one would be to run the Windows Memory Diagnostic Utility. And in order to open that up, just head over to the Start menu. And you want to type in Memory Diagnostic. And the best match should say Windows Memory Diagnostic. You want to open that up. And now I would recommend closing out of any open programs or applications you have on your computer. And you can see in the screen it says check your computer for memory problems. Memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. I would recommend after you've closed out of any open active windows you have on your computer that you select the first option that says restart now and check for problems, which is recommended. Save your work and close any open programs before restarting. Left click inside that box and then your computer will begin restarting. This will take a few minutes to run so you just want to be patient.
Alright, so once you get to the login screen, you want to enter in your password. Okay guys, so once Windows has logged in, you want to head over to the Start button just to open it up the Start menu. And now that the Start menu is open, you want to type in Device Manager. And Best Match should say Device Manager. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to expand the disk drive section by left clicking the little arrow next to it or double click on disk drives. And you want to select your main disk drive here where Windows is installed on. Now keep in mind if it says USB device you do not want to select that. You want to make sure you're selecting your disk device that Windows is installed on or wherever drive you're having the issues with. So I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to left click on properties at the bottom of the context menu. Now I'm going to left click on the Policies tab at the top and now underneath Removal Policy I'm going to select Quick Removal which will disable write caching on the device and in Windows but you can still disconnect the device safely without using the Safely Remove Hardware Notification icon. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on OK. You are going to be prompted to restart your computer to allow the changes to take effect. I would recommend that you close out of any open Windows or programs you have installed on your computer and once you've done that and ensured everything's closed out of and saved, click on yes. And this will begin restarting the computer. And I should also note, we are I'm going to mention the third method right now, and that would be to remove any peripheral devices. So if the first two methods didn't work, I'd recommend removing any peripheral devices that are on your computer. So basically anything that's connected to a USB port, like your mouse, keyboard, speakers, or something along those lines. And I'd recommend unplugging them and then attempting to plug them all back in one at a time and seeing if perhaps one of them is causing the issue. But in most cases, it's more than likely going to be one of the first two methods should be able to resolve your problem. So I just want to put that out there. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.